What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn yourself into a cartoon on Photoshop CC. So the first thing you want to do is import your image, then go to the paintbrush and set this to about 5 pixels. Then you want to ensure that your foreground colour is set to black and create a new layer. Then press the P on your keyboard and this will bring up the pencil tool. And then what you want to do is go around all of the features on the face and you can go around any clothing as well. So the pencil tool can take a bit of getting used to but obviously the more practice you have with it the better the outcome will be. So then you want to right click and press stroke path and then make sure this is set to brush and then hit OK. So with the nose I found that it's best to do two lines at the top and a few at the bottom because if you actually do the whole outline of the nose it doesn't really look that good. So with the eyebrows you just want to go round them again and make sure that the lines come back and touch each other. And then this time when you right click you want to click on fill path and then you want to select foreground colour and this is going to change it to black and then press OK and then hit enter again. So I'm just going to do all the features and then I'll come back to you in a second. So this is what your image should look like after you've gone around everything. So next we want to get a skin colour and these are the numbers I used so you can use this if you want. And then select the paintbrush tool and get this to any size you like and create a new layer. Make sure the lines are above this and then you're just going to want to paint it on. So then you're going to want to go to your magic wand and click on the lines layer and then select the eraser tool and then you're just going to want to rub out any excess. The next step is doing the hair, so you just want to bring up the original image and click the eyedrop tool and just get the correct colour. Okay, create another new layer and then you're just going to want to paint this on again. Just be a bit careful when you get into the ears. Okay, then you want to go to the magic wand tool again and click on the lines layer and then get the eraser and then just rub out any excess again. Then you want to go to the magic wand tool again and click on the face and just rub this out as well. Let me just get rid of this here, one second. Okay, that's the hair done. But there's a bit in the ear, so just use the magic wand tool and just remove this. Okay, create another new layer 
and we're just going to paint the shirt now so I'm just going to select a blue for this So then you're just going to want to delete this like I've been showing you. Okay, so that's that done. So create a new layer and now we're gonna do the eyes. So you just wanna set your foreground color to white and then you're just gonna wanna paint in these. do the same for this one as well so then bring up the original image again and use the eyedrop tool to get his eye color and then you're just gonna want to paint this in again Okay, so then set your foreground colour to black and we're just going to create the pupils. So we want to select a feathered edge and just get it to the right size and just click a few times. And the same on this side as well. And then we're going to set the colour to white and bring the size down as well. And just click on the top right. and that just gives a nice like reflection. Create a new layer and then we're gonna wanna do the lips. So just paint this in again. and just use exactly the same steps to clean it up. That's all the colours done for the time being. Now what you want to do is bring your original picture back then go to image adjustments and then go to hue and saturation and you want to bring the saturation right down so it goes to a black and white image then you want to press ok then you want to go to filter and then filter gallery and then I'll just zoom out here for you so you can see what's going on and then you want to go an artistic and cut out and then you can change this on the right hand side to whatever you want then just press OK then you want to set this to hard light and then drag this layer right up to the top and then you're going to want to just remove the background so you can just rub this out
So what I'd recommend doing is just bringing down the opacity. Now we're going to want to get rid of the jagged edges on the face. So make a new layer and just smooth these out. You don't have to do this but I'd recommend it because I think it looks better at the end. Create a new layer and then we're going to just want to paint a background on so again select whatever colour you want I'm just going to go for a nice blue again and then just paint this on Then what you need to do is just rub out the original layer around the eyes because as you can see it's put the effect on the eyes and we don't really want this because it doesn't look that great so just use the rubber tool to get rid of this. Then all you need to do is drag your background layer to the very bottom and then that's the image finished. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video and if it helped you in any way please give it a like and a share.